اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ Welcome everybody to today's class. I'm sure everybody has done their wudu and they have their heads covered appropriately. You're sitting in a nice quiet place where you can concentrate on today's lesson with no distractions around you. Okay, so first reminder, um, as you can see, the concluding session is next Friday. You've had this um, information before, but if you want to register or um, submit your entry for the final Nazm, then please make sure you do that by tomorrow, um, Thursday the 13th of December. And, um, and then we will go through, the teachers will go through, um, in charge, the head teacher will go through and we'll decide who will have that um, then as I'm recited in the final session next Friday. Okay, so excellent. So the other uh, quick um, announcement that we've got is about our parent-teacher meeting, which you have been told already. So I'm just reminding you about that. That's tomorrow. So please, all parents, be present tomorrow's lesson. And I'll give everybody another reminder of that at the end of today's lesson. So we're going to start with today's um, prayer, Dua. So if we could have our first student to recite dua. Assalamu alaikum. Our first student is A1236. Assalamu alaikum, A1236. How are you today? Good. Alhamdulillah, excellent. Okay, so um, would you like to do the dua by yourself or would you like to follow me? By myself. Excellent. And will you make sure, please, you start with dawuz, tasmiya, and then you can continue with your dua. Okay, and everybody at home, please follow it. Off you go. Zubarahi, my Satan, the Rajim, the Smilla, the Rahma, the Rajim. Allahumma, in the us, oh, you got ill man, the feet off. Excellent effort, excellent effort. Once behind me, okay? Allahumma. Allahumma. Allahumma inni. Allahumma inni. As'aluka. As'aluka. Ilman nafi'a. Ilman nafi'a Ilman nafi'a Excellent effort, good boy. Make sure you work on that, keep practicing that, very good. If you can read the translation for us, please. Oh Allah, I ask you for beautiful Beneficial Beneficial knowledge Good. Do you know what beneficial means? No. Beneficial is something which is good for us. It gives us benefits. Okay? So okay. beneficial knowledge is good knowledge, knowledge which is good for us. Okay? okay. Good. Well done. Jazakumullah, A1236. We will call you back to the mic in a little while. Okay? Okay. Allah Hafiz. Allah, Allah Hafiz. Okay, good. So as you know, this week we have started our recitation of the Quran, which we will be continuing today. But we are also continuing to look at some of our new uh, miscellaneous rules. That's small, small rules, which you should know. And there's always new things we're learning about the Quran. So we're going to continue learning another rule today. And then we will go on to our Quran recitation as well. Okay, so for today's lesson, we are looking at another new rule, which is Meme Makluba or Miniature Meme. Okay, let me just read through this for you. Sometimes a small meme is written after a noon sakin or tanween in the text. It is called meme makluba and it will be pronounced instead of a noon sakin and tanween. Okay, so I'll give you just to show you here. As you can see, our letters which are highlighted in red in all of our words, have a tiny little meme here. We have one here, here, oops, sorry. Yeah, and as you can see, in all the other places as well. So, sometimes, when you have a noon sakin, for example, this noon here, which has a scone on top, 
or you have a tenvin sign. Now, a tenvin sign, remember, is this sign with this dhamma like this and this dhamma on top, or this sign here. Okay, that is also a tenvin sign. Okay, or it could be the fatta which is on top. That's also a tenvin sign. And sometimes you will have a meme there like that. What that means is instead of pronouncing the noon sound that you pronounce, you have to pronounce the meme sound. Okay, so I'll go through an example to show you how that's done. But in the Quran, when you are reading, usually this meme is given. So you don't have to remember the different places where you'll have to do this. It will be shown to you. You just need to remember not to pronounce the noon sound, but only pronounce the meme sound. And this is a called a meme makluba. Okay, so for example, in this first one here, if you can see this first long word here, let me get rid of this so that we can focus. Okay, most of it is very self explanatory. You can see all of these rules you know. This is the only new part here. Okay, so we have Okay, now when you do fim, what you have to do is you have to use the dry part of your lips. So that's sort of the front part of your lips where, where it's not wet, where it's dry. So you would say, Fim, fim. And then when you go on to say bill, you will use the wet part of your lips, which is the slightly on the inside of your lip. Bill, the wet part. So for the meme, it's the dry part. For the ba, it's the wet part. Okay? Mustach fim Okay? And we will practice this, but it's just something for you to think about when you're trying to make the different sounds. Okay, so if we could have our first student, please. Um, yes, N1306. Assalamu alaikum, N1306. Assalamu alaikum. How are you today? I'm good, how are you? I'm very well, Jazakumullah, for asking. Um, does that make sense, what I just explained about the Mima Kluba? Yeah, kind of. Kind of? Okay, so let's have a go. Let's see what you can do. And if you need any help, I'll help you along. Okay? Okay. Okay, off you go. Mus, da, da. Okay, let's go slowly. Mus, good, well done. What are these next two letters? Um, a do. And a? And a ho. So just do that section. Dach. 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 Good. Mustach. Mustach. Good. Now do the next one. Fin. Okay. So normally that would be fin. Yeah, because you've got the tanvin there. But if you can see this small meme, then you have to join it to the m sound instead of the n sound that you usually join it to. Fim. Okay. Fim. Good. And there you're closing your lips there, aren't you? Fim. Fim. Good. Very nice. Now, in order to say the next sound, you need to use the wet part of the inside of your lips. So try that. Billayli. Beautiful. Well done. Billayli. Billayli. Good. Let's try it once from the beginning. Mustach fim bilayli. Mustach fim bilayli. Mustach fim bilayli. Good. Excellent. So you just keep working on that. Keep practicing that. Okay. Because that was a long one that you had okay. to do. Let's try this one here. Okay. Here. Um, so you can see the noon, yeah, with yeah. the schoon, but you can also see the me makluba there. So you have yes. to ignore the noon and you have to imagine that the sukun is on top of the meme instead. So okay. you will join your scene to the meme. Off you go. Sum bulatin. Excellent. Sum bulatin. 
Sumbulatin. Sumbulatin. Beautiful. Well done. Let's do one more. Let's do this one. Sakla. Tambutu. Well done. Once more. Tambutu. 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 Good. And that in that last one, I could hear that you were using the inner part, the wet part of your lips to say the boo sound. So you kind of have to push your lips out into a slight pout. Boo. Yeah. Yeah? Tambutu. Tambutu. Very nice. Jazakumullah um, N1306. That was very good. Jazakala. The, the short words, you were really good on. You were very confident. When it comes to longer ones, you just have to take your time. Break it down like we did today. And inshallah, okay. that way you'll get more and more practice and it'll be easy for you in the long run. Okay. Okay. Well done. Jazakumullah. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay. If we could have our next student, please. Uh, A1212. Assalamu alaikum, A1212. Assalamu alaikum. How are you today? Good. Excellent. Good. Right. So, um, you understand what we're doing? Yes. And you understand about the Mimu Kluba? Yes. Excellent. So, you want to have a go here? Wasaripum ba bin mahari. Very good effort. Excellent. Well done. You, you broke it down a little bit. You did it a little bit slow, which was good because it made, you made sure that you said every sound. Okay, so let's do it once more. Wasari bum bin hari. Very nice. Now, what I want you to do is when you're doing this bin hari, what I want you to do is I want you to use the inner part of the lip where it's a little bit wet. You can feel where it's wet. That's where I want to hear the b sound from. Okay, once just this section from here. Bin Bin Good. Bin Hari. Bin Hari. Where very good. Once more. Wasari Bum Bin Hari. Good. Wasari Bum Bin Hari. Very good. Because you need to remember this is a um, shadda on top of the noon. So it makes it a noon gunna. So you have to hold that sound very slightly there. Binnahari. Binahari. Good, well done. Let's try this one here. Mimbi Baini. Mimbaini. 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 Good, and this one here? Ambai. Good. Ambai. Good. Remember, this is a ba, so it's a very soft sound. So smile slightly when you say your ba, okay? Good, well done. Now, what can you tell me, um, or can you tell me anything about the letter which comes after our Mim Makluba in each of these examples? What letter comes? Can you see? Uh, a wow. What's this letter here? Uh, ba. Ba. Good. What's this letter here? Ba. And this one? Ba. And this one? Ba. And this one? Ba. Okay. So which letter always comes after a Mimu Kluba? Uh, could you say that one more time? Okay. Whenever you see this miniature meme, this tiny little meme sign, yeah, which letter will always come after that meme sign? This tiny meme. A B. A B. A B. A B. Good. Well done. So every time there's a meme Makluba, there is always going to be a B as the next letter. 
Okay? Okay. So that's why I was telling you about the sound, and this is for everybody, that you make the meme sound with the dry part of your lips and the b sound with the wet part of your lips because you're actually using the same part of your lips to make both sounds. Okay? So it's a meme sound with the dry part, the front part, and with the inside part slightly, it's the b sound. Okay? Good, well done. Jazakumullah, thank you so much for your help. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Good. So if we can have our next student, please. Yes, N1273. as alaikum, N1273. as alaikum. Wa alaikum as How are you today? I'm good. Alhamdulillah, excellent. So, are you okay? Do you understand what we're doing? Uh, not really. Not really. Do you understand that this is a meme? Uh, yes. Yes. So what I want you to do is I want you to ignore the noon and I want you to pretend that this sukoon is on top of the meme, not the noon. Okay? Okay. Okay, off you go. Um, me... Okay, so I want you to join this meme to this meme here. How would you do that? Uh, so it's a meme with a kasra and you have to join it to another meme. So we'll say mim. 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 Good. Mim. And the next letter? No. Uh, this is a ba. So what would that be? No. Boo. Sorry, I can't hear you very clearly. Boo. Boo. Well done. Mimbu. Mimbu. And what would this this be? Any idea? Do what? You. 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 For two you. seconds. Good. Because this is a vowel mother. Okay, so we have to make this two second sound. You. you. Good. Let's try this from the beginning. Mim bu you. you. Good. Once more. Mim bu you. Good. Next letter. E. D. T. Well done. Excellent. This is a T. Now here, I'm afraid, I'm very sorry, but we've got a slight typo here. Typing error. On top of this curve should be a dhamma. Okay? A dhamma. So, could you tell me what, what that would be? If there's a dhamma on top of the curve and you have to join it to the meme, it would be kum. 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 Tikum. Kum. Tikum. Good. Well done. Once more. Well done. Good. Let's try it from the beginning. Mim. Can you read that and then I... Um, yeah, then you read after me? Okay. Mim. Mim. Good. Mim buyu. Mim buyu. Mim buyu. Mim buyu. Tikum. Tikum. Mim buyu. Tikum. Mim buyu. Tikum. Good. Well done. Let's go on to the next one. How will you do this first? These first two letters. Just like we had in this example, it's exactly the same here. Do you want to have a go? Mim. Excellent. Good. Well done. Mim. Mim. Good. And how will we do these two letters? Uh, do you know what letter this is? No. This is an ein. Ein. Okay, so we have to join this ba to this ein. Ba. 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 Ba.
من بعدي من بعدي من بعدي من بعدي yeah ain is a tough one yeah, because you have to make that that sound and it's quite a difficult sound to make because we're not used to making that sound in english but as more you practice the more you get the hang of it and it won't be so hard anymore okay and this one here now again i want you to ignore the noon and i want you to join the alif with the meme so let's try that do you want to have a go Excellent. Good. Well done. Um. Good. What's the next letter? Ba. Ba. Good. Um. Ba. Um. Ba. Um. Ba. Um. Ba. And the last two letters. Once more. That's a ta. Good. And you have to join it to that last letter. Could you try that? So if you're joining the ta to the ta, it will be tat. tat. Good. Ambatat. 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 Very good. Well done. Now, what you need to do is you just need to practice. You need to make sure that you recognize the letters. Okay. Make sure you recognize the strokes because when you say them, it sounds really good. But you need to try to recognize them by yourself now. Okay. And you, you recited very well. I just needed to show you how to do the, the individual parts. So you just need to keep practicing. And inshallah, the more you practice, the easier it will become for you. Okay. okay. Excellent. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much for your help. I love this. Okay, good. So we have gone through today meme makluba. I've explained to you that when you see this miniature meme, okay, miniature meme next to either a thanveen, something with a thanveen sign on it, okay, whether it's um, whichever thanveen sign it is, or next to a noon sakin, you have to ignore the noon sakin. And you have to recite, you have to pronounce the meme instead, but it will be given to you in the Quran. You will see the miniature meme. So it just means that you know which sound you need to make there. Okay. And after meme makluba, you always have a ba sound. So you should try to make the meme sound with the dry part of your lips. So boom, where you're closing your mouth slightly to make, to make the meme sound, boom, putting your lips together. And then in order to, Make the ba sound, you open your lips up again and you use the wet part, the slightly inside part of your lips to make the ba sound. Okay, so. Okay, so, that, that's, so you know which part of the mouth to use when making those individual sounds. Okay, excellent, good. So everybody just needs to practice that. Make sure they recognize that because remember when you are reciting the Quran, it's not going to be read and highlighted for you. So you just need to remember that if you see a miniature meme, you pronounce the meme and you will not pronounce the noon sound there. Okay, excellent, good. So we're going to move on now to our um, next chapter. And today... We are starting Surah Ikhlas, okay, which is chapter 112 of the Holy Quran. Now, a lot of you probably already, um, well, not, not necessarily a lot of you, but many of you may already know this Surah because it's usually the first one that a lot of young people learn when um, starting, when reciting the namaz, perhaps. So when you've been taught the namaz, often... Um, children, young people are taught Surah Ikhlas first because it's quite a nice short surah and it's quite easy to remember. Okay, but one of the things is that when you when you sometimes remember surahs, um, sometimes you need to think about your pronunciation and if you're making sure that you pronounce every letter and every sound correctly, and it sometimes can be very very difficult to correct our pronunciation once we have learnt the surah in a certain way. So I want you to try and do for today's lesson is try to Forget the fact that you have memorized this surah already, if you have memorized it already. And I want to focus on trying to read the surah. Okay, so we're going to focus on looking at the letters, looking at all our strokes, 
and thinking about how we are going to pronounce each sound, thinking about all the rules we've learned together in order to pronounce and read, recite this surah correctly, not from memory, but from reading, reciting. Okay? I hope everybody understands that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, I'm going to go through the whole surah once, and then we're going to have some students on the mic, and we're going to go through verses individually. Okay? So everyone listen carefully. We're going to start now. A'udhu billahi minash rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Qul huwa Allahu ahad Allahu samad Lam yalid wa lam yulad Wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad Okay So again when I have somebody on the mic, I want you all to look carefully at the rules. Now, there are certain things which you have learned this week, which you will need to remember as well. One of those being, uh, well, we have learned this before, but we need to keep, keep mind of it today. Qalqala. Okay? So, our Qalqala rule, remember, is when we give a slight jerking sound, Okay, a slight jerking sound um, on, for example, a dal. So, had, mad, lid, lad, had. Okay, so that's one of the rules you need to keep in mind. Okay, also try to remember your thick letters, right? So, remember we've got qaf here, so that's a thick letter. We've got sad here, again, thick letter. Okay, so these are some of the things you need to think about when reciting this surah. Right. Another rule, if you remember, which is here, if we look at this point here, is when we have a nun sakin, but the next letter is a lam with a shadda, lam mushaddad, we have to ignore the nun sakin completely, and we have to join our kaf to a lam here. Okay, remember, idgham. Right. So these are some of the rules that we do need to think about, along with, obviously, any of our other rules, any of our other strokes, elongation, how long we'll pronounce a letter for. So I want you to keep those things in mind when we go through this surah together. Okay? So if we can have our first student, please. Yes. A1221. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? I know this surah by heart. Can I uh, read it by blank page? Okay, I know every, uh, lots of you are going to know this surah by heart, but what I really want you to do is I want you to look at the letters when I have my hand here, let's see here, and I want you to try and recite from the page, not from heart, okay? Okay. Yes, yeah, so I want you to actually read it, not, not do it from your memory, okay? Okay. Okay, yes. are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's start from here then. Yes, Remember yes. to start with Tawuz. A'uzu billah. A'uzu billah minas shaitan rajim bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Okay, one second. Let's do this really slowly. Start from here. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Okay. So what I want you to do is make sure here. Look, we've got a we've got a vertical fatha here. So that needs to be two seconds, and a vertical fatha here. That needs to be two seconds as well. Let's try once more. Beautiful, much, much better. Well done. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good, very nice. That was a bit very nice. Now, let's start here. Okay. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Right, let's just start here. Just this first, first two letters. Well done, excellent. And next? Who? Good. And next? Ah. Wallahu. Wallahu. Next? Ahad. 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 Excellent, very nice. Wallahu. Wallahu. Ahad. 
Kul hu wallahu ahad Kul hu wa ahad Good effort, excellent, well done What I want you to do is just keep practicing that first verse Okay, so let's do that one more time today Kul hu wallahu ahad Kul lahu ahad Had good, well done, excellent effort, well done. Keep practicing that. Keep making sure that you can recite that verse really, really well, so we can hear all of the individual sounds. Okay. 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 Excellent. Okay. Good. Well done. Excellent. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much for your help. Kadafis. Okay. Good. Can we have our next student, please? Yes, N1305. N1305. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm very well. Alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah for asking. Now, I hope everybody at home, when we've got a student on the mic doing one verse, you should all be reciting that verse with the student and me as well. Okay, because that's how you'll practice and that's how we'll make sure that your pronunciation is like A top, first class. Okay? So, I want you to start with Dawood and then we're just going to do this second verse here. Okay? Okay, so let me read it to you once. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajeem. Allahu samad. A'udhu billah. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajeem. Okay. Allahu Allahu samad. Once more. Allah Husabad. Very nice. Now, when you say Allah, I want you to make a thicker sound here. Because when we see this lam here, this lam which is the alif, sorry, the lam of Allah, and we've got a vertical fat on the top, we have to make it into a thick sound. So Allah Husamad. Allah Husabad. Very nice. Well done. That was excellent. Once more. Allah Sabbath. Very good. You had a nice jerk at the end. Your sword was very good. I could hear that you were trying to make the thick sound for your sword there. So that was really good as well. So you just need to keep practicing and make sure that when you're saying Allah, you make your mouth into a round shape and you make that into a thick sound as well. So once more, Allah Sabbath. Allah Sabbath. Very nice. Well done. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much, N1305. Jazakallah. Allah Hafiz. Okay. Uh, next student, please. A1238. A1238. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? Good. Alhamdulillah. How are you? I'm very well. Jazakumullah for asking. Good. So I want, we're going to go from here, okay, where I've got my hand. So, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Lam yalid. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rajeem. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Very nice. Once more. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Very nice. You did a really nice elongation there with your vowel mother. You, you made sure that was two seconds. Nice calcula sound here and here as well. Okay, so that was really good as well. Let's do it once more. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Good, well done. Make sure that time I didn't hear your calcula as well. Remember there's a slight jerking sound when you have a dal or a sukoon or you're stopping on a dal so lid lad okay yeah once more lam ya lid wa lam yu lad very nice jazakumullah thank you so much a1238 wala hafiz wala hafiz good well done okay if we can have a next student please Yes, N1285. N1285. Assalamu alaikum, N1285. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today? I'm good. 
Alhamdulillah, mm-hmm. excellent. I'm very well, Jazakumullah, for asking. Okay, so we're going to start from here, okay? And um, I'll read it, I'll recite it to you once, and then I want you to recite it. And if you need any help, I'll help you, okay? A'udhu billahi min shaitani rajeem, bismillahi rahmani rahim. Wa lam yaqullahu kufu wan ahad. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم و good والام excellent yeah good كله right good so you you joined here the calf to the lamb so that was good كله كله good very nice. Kalkala there. Excellent. Well done. Let's do that once more. Walam yakullahu kufu wan ahad. Walam yakullahu kufu wan ahad. Very nice, very nice. I'm going to break it down a little bit, okay? Walam. Walam. Good. Walam. 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 Good. Yakullahu. 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 Walam yakullahu. Walam yakullahu. Very nice. Excellent. Once more. Walam yakullahu. Ya. Wa. Walam yakullahu. Good. Kufu wan. Kufu wan. Ahad. Brilliant. Well done. Do you want to try it once more for me by yourself? Yes. Off you go. Wa lam ya kul Let's try that whole section together. Ya kullahu Yakullahu kufu wan ahad. Beautiful, excellent, brilliant, well done. That's quite a long sentence to say, isn't it? It's quite a long ayat there. So you managed to break it down, you worked it out slowly, and then you put it all back together again, which is what I want everybody to do. So that was really good effort. Keep practicing and keep reading it as well. It's very important when you all practice that you keep reading because then... When you're seeing the words in front of you and the letters in front of you, it helps to make a visual image in your mind so you can see which letters you're saying as you're reciting. So the more you read it, the easier it is to remember. Okay? And then you make sure, if it's in your memory, that you won't make any little mistakes because you'll know all the letters and what all the different rules and strokes are. Okay? So that was really good. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much. Me? G. Are you going to do more? Am I going to do more what? Sorry, Jan. More the another the surah again. Yes, we're going to do the same surah again. We're going to keep practicing this surah for today. Okay. I have another thing to say. Okay. Can my cousin go. Can your cousin have a turn? I'm not sure. We'll have to ask discipline in charge. What's the number? Because we're trying to use a specific um, listen to specific students today. Um, and I, just the discipline in charge has a list, so I'm not sure what what your cousin's number is. What's your cousin's number? A one two three seven. A one two three seven. I'm not sure if that's on the list. Discipline in charge. Um, I can't see him in the class. A one two three seven. Is he not in the class today? Um, no, I can't see. Is he? Has he signed in with you? Is he at your house? No. No, he's at his own house, so he's not, he's not actually in the class at the moment, so the discipline in charge can't find him. Okay? okay. Well, thank you so much. Okay, Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. 
Okay, discipline in charge. Um, could we please have discipline in charge um, A1236 who did the dua today? Um, yes. Brilliant. Okay. Yeah. It's like a... Wa alaikum aslam. How are you? Good. Alhamdulillah. Excellent. So, you know how we're doing this today? We're going to read through, okay? And um, you're going to recite a line by reading it, not from memory. Okay, so if we start with Tawuth and uh, Tasniya. Off you go. Aoudu Allahi, we say ta the rajim. Bismillah, Bismillah, the Rahman, the Rahim. Good, well done. From here. Bul Wallahu Ahad. Very nice. Good. Well done. Once more. Bul Hu Wallahu Ahad. Very nice. And you made sure you made the thick sound here and you elongated this for two seconds like you're supposed to. So that was really good. Let's do that once more. Qulhu wallahu ahad. Qulhu wallahu ahad. Ahad. Well done. Nice jerks there on the dial at the end. So that was really good as well. And you seem to have this ayat down. So that's really good. Mashallah. Well done. And you read your Bismillah uh, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim very nicely. And I could see that you were reading it and not reciting it from memory. So that's really good as well. So well done. Jazakumullah. Thank you for your help. Allah Hafiz. Okay, good. Um, if we could have our next student, please. Yes, N1295. N1295. Assalamu alaikum. N1295. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? I'm alright. How are you? I'm very well. Jazakumullah for asking. Uh, understanding everything okay? Yes. Brilliant. Good. So if we can start with Dawood, Tasnia, and then we'll go on to our second verse. Okay. Off we go. Good. Good, well done. Now, what I want you to do is, I want you to try and say this, this here with a thick sound. So follow me once. Allahu Samad. Allahu Samad. Good, well done. You made your mouth round and I could hear the difference there straight away. Once more. Allahu Samad. Allahu Samad. Husamad. Husamad. Good. Again, Saad is one of our thick letters. So when we say the Saad, we have to make, again, our mouth into a round shape and try to make it a thick, serious sound. Okay, once more. Allahu Samad. Very nice. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much. N12, is it N1295? Yes. Excellent. Thank you so much, N1215. That was beautiful. Um, um, is there any chance if I can do the end of R or not? Um, we will see what our discipline in charge says. Okay? We have to, we have to leave it to, to the discipline in charge to decide who can do the end of R. Okay? okay? Okay. We'll see what she says. If she thinks it's appropriate, then she'll call you back. Okay. 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 Jazakumullah. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Good. Okay. If we could have our next student, please. Yes. A1203. A1203. Aslam alaikum. Wa alaikum aslam. How are you, you today? Good. How Excellent. are you? I'm very well. Jazakumullah for asking. Understanding everything okay? Yes. Excellent. So we start with Dawuz, Tasmiya. And remember, we're reading, recite not from memory. Okay, off you go. Bismillah. A'udhu. A'udhu billahi. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Qul... You need to start from here. Yeah? 
لم يلد ولم يولد. Very nice. Once more. لم يلد ولم يولد. Good. Well done. Excellent. لم يلد ولم يولد. Once more. لم يلد ولم يولد. Very nice. Excellent. Kalkala was very nice. You made sure you elongated this while mother here. So that was really good. And very good pronunciation. Every letter you were sounding out carefully. And we could hear all the different sounds, which is what we want to hear when we're doing recitation of the Holy Quran. Sometimes we get very, very quick and fast and we don't really understand all the different, the different sounds and the different rules and the different strokes. But that was really good, mashallah. Excellent. Well done. Jazakumullah for your help. Uh, excuse me. G? Sometimes on Tuesday I won't be here because I have to go to a trial class. Okay. All right. Um, you are A1203. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. If there's any other children that need to um, inform us of absences, if you could please um, ask your parents to just write an email into um, the centre, the info email that you have, and then our discipline in charge and everybody there will, will know who is absent from the day's lesson. So, Jazakumullah, thank you very much. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. If we could have our next student, please. Yes, N1283. N1283. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Assalam alaikum. How are you today? Good, how are you? I'm very well. Jazakum alaikum. Are you understanding everything okay that we're doing? Yes. Excellent, good. So if we start with Dawood, Tasmiya, and then we'll go on to the last verse here. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan al-rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim very nice. Once more. Good. Let's do it once with me. Ahad. Ahad. Good. Wa lam yakullahu kufu wan ahad. Wa lam yakullahu kufu wan ahad. Good. Well done. Excellent. Now, the first time you recite it, it was beautiful recitation, very nice melody, but you needed to remember this is elongated very slightly. And when you did it afterwards, you did that. You made sure that you elongated that. Because remember, this is our inverted dhamma. So we need to make a two-second sound there. Okay, so let's do it once more. Very nice. A very nice jerking sound at the end. That was really good. Sometimes this is a bit confusing because... Um, we feel like we need to elongate this lamb. But we don't need to elongate the lamb. We only need to elongate the ha. Okay? Kullahu. Kullahu. Very nice. Kullahu. Kullahu. Very good. Well done. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much for your help. You're welcome. Allah Hafiz. Good. Excellent. Uh, let's see. I think we can have um, one more student maybe. I think we have enough time. Yep. A1209. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm very well. Jazakumullah. Thank you for asking. Um, we are going to go through this whole surah. Okay. So you are my last student today. We're going to go through the whole surah. Um, I'm going to cite through and I want you to follow me through. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Excellent. A'udhu billahi minash shaitani rajeem. A'udhu billahi minash shaitani rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. 
قل هو الله أحد قل هو قل هو الله واحد الله الصمد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد ولم ي ولم ي ولم يكن له كفوا أحد Very nice. Well done. Excellent. Now, one thing I want you to remember is when we have our elongated sounds, for example, our vowel mother here, you need to make sure you say that for two seconds. Okay. You lad. You lad. Lam ya lam ya lid wa lam you lad. Lam ya lid wa lam you lad. Very nice. Excellent. Good. So that was really nice. I'm going to recite the whole surah once again. Okay, I want everybody at home to follow. Okay, so thank you so much for your help. Jazakumullah. Jazakumullah. Allah Hafiz. Okay, so I want everybody at home to follow, and um, then we will we will close today's session. Okay, so A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد. Excellent. جزاكم الله everybody. Thank you so much for all of your help today. That was really nice recitation from everyone. Okay. So I'm going to end today's lesson. Just remind you of or tell you about your homework. So some people are playing with the videos, which means I can't see my screen. So please don't touch your videos right now. Thank you. Right. So our homework today is to practice the miniature meme, meme makluba, which is exercise 22.8, page 67. It's a good idea to practice, even if you understand the meme, miniature meme, meme makluba rule. It's still a nice way to practice just reading certain words from the Quran and practicing how your lips should be moving when pronouncing a meme and a ba. Okay. Also. I would like you all to practice your Quran reading if you have time. Um, Surah Al Ikhlas, which we covered today. Um, we have simple Arabic Quran. If not in possession of a hard copy, you can use Al Islam. Okay, dot org dot uk. That has you can find the whole of the Quran on the website there, chapter one hundred and twelve. Right. Um, next, quick reminder: we have our Nazm. Entry, which needs to be done by tomorrow, please. Please make sure that you get that in by tomorrow if you want to recite the nazm in the last session. Also, another reminder about our Hifz learning recitals. If you go to the website, okay, the NQC website, um, Hifz learning recitals, um, you have teaching aids or aids which can help you learn the last ten part chapters of the Holy Quran. The last ten chapters of part 30 okay so you can listen to those and that will help you to hear the correct pronunciation and to learn that right um also remember we have a parent um teacher consultation tomorrow so tomorrow please parents be um be in attendance with your children we want feedback about the class and so we would really like you to come we're also having a presentation tomorrow which is something we would also like parents to listen to okay so if we can end with our final prayer yes n1295 assalamu alaikum n1295 assalamu okay are you ready to do the dua by yourself yes excellent so start with dawood tasmiya and off you go Rahma. 
and make it for me the leader, the light, the guardians, and the mercy. The guidance and the mercy. The guidance and the mercy. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much, N1295. And Jazakumullah to all the students for attending. And inshallah, we will see you again tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alafis.